Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Frost or Jay here, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm making a follow-up video to the Open MU um, video that I explained because I got a lot of comments on people getting errors or just not being able to run it, period. Um, so I just want to kind of address that and, and hopefully help people fix that problem that they were having. So um, first, I want to just talk about installing Open MU. So like I kind of addressed in the last video, I'm on Mac OS High Sierra. So if you are running anything above that or under it, um, I recommend going below this 209. So if you're running anything above it, then you could just go straight to the Open MU website and download that um, that version there. Anything above High Sierra can run that. Um, if you're below High Sierra, which is 10.13 then I would recommend going and installing version 2.01 right here. So I'll download that one right now. Um, and that's the one that I recommend running. Um, pretty much I'll show you guys how to use that one. And it's pretty much the exact same way as running the uh, the 2.09 that I, that I would typically run. So I'll just download both of them for later, but I'll just show you guys with the two uh, the 201. Okay. And then along with that, I uh, left a, I'll leave a link in the description to the releases page so you guys can get to that 2.01 uh, release version. Um, I also left a link in the description for the OpenMU bio pack that you'll need. I'll show you guys how to actually like install this on the, the app itself. I won't download it because I already have it downloaded. Um, and I'll also show you guys how to put the, the, um, the actual games on there because I downloaded some some games to show you guys that as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and extract the um, the zip folder. I use the unarchiver. It's a free one that you can download. I'll just go ahead and unzip that. And what you want to do is you want to take this out of your downloads folder. You want to drag it over to applications, drop it in there. You'll see it will start being created right here. And then once it's fully in, it'll show it without the little um, restricted sign. So you want to right click that and then select open. This way you won't have to go through the process of going to your settings and doing all of that. It'll directly bypass that and it'll verify it straight right there. Click open and it'll open it right there. So now we have the open MU, um, open MU application itself. If you check the version, version 2.01 right here, and then they have a link to their website right there. That way you can see um, the version that's on the website directly. These are all of the the um, the consoles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of going brain dead. These are all of the consoles or the emulators that they have on here. Um, pretty much what you just want to do is look up some games that you want for any of these. The ones that I have are GBA because Game Boy Advance was hands down one of the best ones out there. Um, definitely has most of the games that you, you're going to want to play as well. So after that, go ahead, download the BIOS pack that I left in the description. Go ahead and open that with the Unarchiver 2. Um, and then go ahead and open this folder. So what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and select all of these. On Mac, that's Command A, and then you just want to left click it and drag it on top of the Open MU application itself. Once you drop it there in this bottom left corner, you see it's going to start um, installing these. Now, some of these it might say oh, um, it doesn't have it or something like that. It it, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, the DSP I believe is for um, I think that's the the PSP. But some of these are, it just depends, you, you know, like I'm pretty sure you can leave most of these alone. If you do get an error on, you know, saying, oh, one of these didn't install correctly, just let me know because I'm pretty sure these are for the version that I was running and not this older version. So just let me know and I'll try to help you guys out on that part. Um, and so after that, I'm just going to get out of there. So after that, um, oh, after selecting, all 
All right, so after that, all of them, everything should be installed. So now when you select something, you can see that it'll tell you the, um, it'll tell you the information about them. And right here, if, I don't know if you guys saw where I went, you click open, open MU in the top left, click preferences, and then go to cores. And right here, you guys see where it has the option to install certain things for the, like Dolphin, which is a uh, GameCube. Um, like on the side, you can see it's not installed. You can attempt to install these um, by going through this process and typically it should work. Sometimes you might get an error depending on which version it is. Um, but you can go ahead and select to install those. Now these are probably some, now you see these are the ones that we were getting the errors for. So what we would have to do is bring this up and then try to import all of these again and then we could assign them to the correct ones. But for some reason, I believe that's just an, just an error on its own. Um, so I'm not really going to get into that right now. I think that just comes with like bug fixes right here. Now you guys can see this is where most people were having problems. This is where, um, sorry about that. I brought up the wrong screen. <laughs> this is where you can select the controls. So right here, like I said, I'm going to be doing GBA games. What you will want to do is um, you, we will want to correct these. So as you can see, for start, th that's not really a normal control that you will want for start. So we would just put enter. For select, I guess you could put the right shift like they have it. For A, I typically do Z and X for A. And then for those higher buttons, I'll do for left, I'll do A. And then for right, I'll do S. And boom, that's pretty much what I would have it as. And then if you want a quick save, I definitely definitely recommend you doing that if you plan on playing games continuously on this. I don't know, you could do something like shift, like left shift or something. Typically, it'll let you do two keys, but I think it's just kind of an error because, um, because of what we're doing. And then... You know, as far as walking, I usually leave them as the arrows, but you can change them to wasp if you want, but that you have to do your own keys for the the, the left and right. <laughs> so that's up to you. But that's how I would do my Game Boy Advance. And then over here, they have filters. I usually keep mine as Q2 because I don't like the old school grainy filter. Not really my thing. Um, and then these are just optional. If you want, you can have a pause or a pop-up window. And then these are, this is the um, library file. So what you can do is you can create a folder. So say if I wanted to create this as the default folder for my games, I would just create that folder and then pretty much it would automatically import all of the games from there. Um, so what we're going to do though, after we have those settings fixed, I think I have to extract all of these, but what we're going to try to do is just drag them over. I don't think that'll work, but hey, we can try. Then go to GBA. And let's see. Yep, it's importing them. So there, there's quite a few files. So what I'll do is I'll most likely come back um, once they're done being imported. And then from there, we can uh, pretty much pick up on where we left off. All right. So now we have everything completed. Um, so what we what we'll do is oh no I don't want that. So what we can do is we could just pretty much whatever game we we there we go that's what I want I want to see these. Okay so I I like the grid view sorry about that. So whatever game we want to try out we can go ahead and jump in. What I'm gonna do is go um I'm gonna check and see if there was a Pokemon game in this pack. So let's see. Yes. All right. So Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon. I don't know if anybody's going to come for me for saying this, but my favorite Pokemon was always uh, Sapphire. So let's see. It's loading, so I should let it load, but I'm not because I'm an idiot. So let's go ahead and fire up the game right now. Let's see if, how it starts off. Let me turn off my volume. I don't want, want any issues. Oops. I accidentally closed the window. Boom. So y'all see, we got Pokemon. We got it running. 
It might be a little laggy, but you see the filters on it. If I press enter, it starts the game. If I press Z, it selects for me. And the game's running. If I hold down Z, it, it fast tracks everything, you know, when you don't want to sit through all them uh, <laughs> reading really slow. And it starts everything. I, I would start a whole game for you, but you guys know Pokemon kind of takes a little bit to, to start up. I just wanted to show you guys how to fix your issues. So if you guys do have any more like persisting issues as far as other consoles, um, let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Um, if you guys did get any help from this video, drop a like um, and subscribe.